Welcome to North of the Broad, everyone. I'm Robin Zimmerman. And as you know, we bring you our show each week, each month, all throughout the year from the fabulous Pat Conroy Literary Center. And its executive director is Jonathan Hout. And it's good to see you. You too, Robin. Coming off of Camp Conroy, which once again was a huge success. It's amazing to see what can happen if you get 20 super creative kids <laughs> together for two weeks and tell them to make a book. Anything that stands out from uh, the Camp Conroy experience this year? This year was Treasure Island themed, and it, okay. as ever, it's open to interpretation, but a lot of them went super literal, so there have been a lot of pirate costumes <laughs> and a little bit of swashbuckling going on at the camp this week. Right. They, they've made an adventure out of it, and they certainly found things that they treasure, so the theme worked out very well. Very good. And, and plans for next year? Do you begin planning for next year? Almost immediately yeah. after one camp is uh, when we start planning the next camp because there's so much that goes into details. Them. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's continuing to grow. It is. Continuing to be even more successful yes. each year. So. We've added additional instructors and counselors right. to keep up with capacity. We have a plan, a tentative plan, to potentially offer two camps for two different age groups next year. Oh, I like that idea. So I hope you and I get yeah. to talk about yeah. that in a few yeah. months. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yes. Yeah, good plan. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's jump into, we've got some author events coming up that's early right. July, mm -hmm. one on the 7th and one on the 9th. So let's mm -hmm. start with the one on the 7th. It's Ruth Watson in her book. She's the author of A Right Worthy Woman. That's right. Ruth is a novelist. She has four novels to her credit. And this one is just coming out. I think it's publishing the, this very week that we're recording this. So oh. it's a brand new book. Okay. And she's going on tour for it. And it is the story of a woman who, uh, Maggie Lena Walker, mm -hmm. who was the daughter of enslaved people. So uh, she was born just after the Civil War. And she rose to prominence in what became known as the, as the Black Wall Street of Virginia. So mm -hmm. she was the first African-American woman ever to own and operate a bank, which became oh the God. center of African-American life in the this town that she lived. This is true. True. True story, yes. Oh, my gosh. So this is a historical fiction. Okay. Uh, and we're partnering with the Black Chamber of Commerce right. because it's essentially a parallel story to what, why Black Chambers of Commerce exist. Right. Sort of be the centerpiece and business incubators for their communities as well. And it'll be five to seven, That's and you right. need to register in advance. You do. There's a there's a free reception. The whole event is free, but there will okay. be um, some some uh, refreshments afterwards. And because of that, it's super helpful for us to know how okay. many people are coming. Know how many people? Yes. All right. Well, that sounds so great. So you can sign up through our website okay. or through our Facebook page for that. And again, that's Friday. July 7th, which is also a first Friday, so people can continue sure. their evening downtown okay. after that. Sounds wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then on the 9th, which is a Sunday afternoon, we have a yeah. best-selling author that was coming through, and she said, I, I want to do Sunday afternoon, so she'll mm -hmm. be right here at the Literary Center. That's right. Beatrice Williams, who is a New York Times bestseller of 13 novels, has a brand new book out uh, called The Beach at Summerly, which mm -hmm. is seems sort of on the surface like it's a light summer beach read, but it's also a historical mystery novel with spies and espionage okay. and multi-generational secrets. It, it escalates really okay. powerfully. So I think people are going to be really excited when they find out what this So you've book read it. You read the book. I have. I get you know, one of the many benefits of my job <laughs> like, of is that I get uh, what's called an ARC, an advanced reading copy. <laughs> right. And I okay. thought when I got it, I'm probably okay. not going to read this. But I started to. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. This is, so you like it? Yes, absolutely. You did? Okay. Yeah. So she's on a, a national tour, okay. and she very much wanted to visit Buford and our Conroy Center. And Perfect. Sunday turned out to be the day that she was available. Right. So she'll be here Sunday, uh, July 9th at 2 in this very room, in, right. in the education room, the Dorothea Benton Frank Education Room. And is this free also? It is a free event. But you need to register. You do, because the room the we're space. in is limited, obviously. Right. So it's super helpful if people will just call the Conroy Center in advance and let us know they're coming. Okay. Books will be available for sale and autographing. Okay, and okay, that's neat. a great time to pick up a copy. And that's Beatrice Williams. Williams, yes. All right, mm -hmm. now we have just a few short seconds left, mm -hmm. so let's talk about the summer here at the, if, if you're coming to Buford or yeah. you live in Buford and you haven't been to the mm -hmm. Conroy Center, you've got to stop by and tour and just enjoy. So what are the hours? When are you open? We're open Thursday through Sunday okay. from noon to four. But what's been really, really popular the past couple of months are book clubs or women's clubs oh. or family groups scheduling an off hours private tour oh. with me okay. or another one of the docents. And we've done so many of those. Our numbers for attendance are way, way up versus last year. 
almost astoundingly so, and it's primarily the, the private tour, so that's a really special experience for people to take advantage of. And how of. long does the tour last? I guess as long as, you know, we only have 30 minutes, mm -hmm. or could you do a whole hour? Or... Right. Uh, it is it is scalable to the needs of the group, of course, okay. but if it's a tour that I'm personally guiding, it's probably going to take an hour. <laughs> I know a couple things about Pat Connor. <laughs> I am not surprised. Thank you, Jonathan. Again, Jonathan Howe, the Executive Director of the Pat Conroy Literary Center, and we'll be right back with more North of the Broad. Don't go away.